He didn't really state his position when it comes to it, but he subliminally, in my opinion, let us know that he's okay with white supremacy. But I think we need to look beyond President Trump and look at ourselves and see how we can end this ideal of supremacy and racism in our country for the benefit of all Americans. Reaction tonight after President Donald Trump neglected to condemn white supremacists during last night's debate. Good evening and thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Caitlin Kendall. After the, de the debate, many took to social media to discuss the president's actions. ABC 21's Ariel Cadet has reaction from a local pastor and downtown protester. Caitlin, the people I spoke with tonight tell me last night's debate was embarrassing to watch. They say they hope the country can move forward after the comments the president made. After being asked if he would condemn white supremacy, President Trump had this to say. Boys, stand back and stand by. Which did not sit well with Minnie Jackson or Pastor Raymond Dix. It's just simply disgusted to hear what the president said. And I think as a president of the United States, uh, the office alone, you should be above those types of comments. It was a clear indication on where he stood. I felt like it was an uh, open confession to how he, he really feels about uh, the minority. Wednesday, reporters asked the president about the comments he made. I've always denounced any form, any form, any form of any of that you have to denounce. But I also, Joe Biden has to say something about Antifa. It's not a philosophy. But Minnie Jackson says the president should go further than this. I'm not gonna sit here and act like he hasn't done something. All presidents do something. But all he has done is wake up the racial tension that is burning in this country right now. And it's at a boiling point. Earlier this summer, Jackson protested every night for black lives. She says she's tired of the problem of racism in America being ignored. What more can we do? How many more marches? How many times are we going to do this? How many times are we going to scream out for help? How many times are we going to keep being ignored? So. The more and more they keep going around the actual problem in America, as long as they keep ignoring it, it's going to build. And right now, in 2020, the way things have been going, it's there. For Pastor Raymond Dix, he says he knows the first step to solving the problems in this country. Love your neighbor as yourself and do good to people, even if they disappoint you. And uh, as a man of God, we, we teach that particular ethic uh, to find a way, as difficult as it may be in some instances, to share love with one another. Both Minnie Jackson and Pastor Dix tell me their work is far from over. They will continue to advocate for communities of color in this country.